Hey guys, welcome to day 107 of my carnivore journey. And thank you for joining me. It's a privilege to be able to do my vlog and my diary for you guys every day and tell you exactly what's going on with my carnivore journey. So today uh, was the end of my fast. I ended after about four full days, so to speak, from Friday night to Monday afternoon ish. So three and a half days, I guess, full of fasting and the reason why i started fasting was of course i started getting sick friday i did listen to a lot of you guys i actually kind of stopped taking some of the medications actually I stopped taking the medications and just was fasting um with no medications or nothing and just ice water in fact i even stopped drinking coffee um that's it was just just doing that and i took i think halfway through I did take like a couple little pinches of salt because remember I, I carry some uh, salt in my work truck. Um, so I actually had a couple little pinches of salt like halfway through. I don't know. Um, but that's it. That's it. And then today I broke my fast. I had two hard boiled eggs and I had um, I, I, I had two hard boiled eggs around like two, which is about my normal time. As you guys know. And then um, about like an hour later, I went ahead and had a small kind of meat stick just to start kind of breaking myself in a little bit. And then for dinner, I had uh, my one pounder. <laughs> so my one pounder, it's um, it, it, it was this time I seasoned it more on like a taco flavoring because I wanted to maybe have like a taco burger. But I only actually ate about three quarters of it. There was about a quarter of it left, you know, like because I was kind of cutting it up and eating it. And then, like I said, there was about like an actual quarter section kind of left. So I ate probably just maybe even that you could even just say a hair over three quarter pounds of, of meat tonight. And then my body's just kind of like, uh, you know, I'm done right now. So there you go. I mean, that's what I had. Oh, and I had while I was cooking, I had a couple two little pieces of bacon chips, which is like a half a piece of bacon technically because I cut them in fours. So, no, I had three. I'm sorry. I take that back. I had three. That's right. One, two, three. So I had three quarters piece of a bacon, two eggs, small meat stick, and three quarters pound of meat. So that was my day. I mean, that's what I ate. I'm full. And tomorrow, I, I am going to actually be eating a little more calories tomorrow. Um, but I didn't want to do it tonight because it was my first night back from fasting. So I didn't want to like overwhelm my body with like a ton of calories. So um, <clears throat> tomorrow I'm actually going to be making uh, my carnivore pizzas. Uh, they're going to make a couple keto style pizzas as well. Like they're going to have like just a basic um, keto sauce, like or a tomato type sauce, like a, a very, very light um tomato sauce so i'm gonna make that for the whole family i'm actually gonna be making uh um probably about three or four of them and you know like i said one of them will be carnivore for me or i may just make the keto one for me i don't know like i said guys i told you i was gonna kind of touch on keto every once in a while um after the 90 days so so yeah i mean so i'm gonna that's my my goal i, I was like thinking about pizza when I was fasting. <laughs> so, um, and like I said, I don't miss the old school pizzas. I mean, in a way, if I really start thinking about the old foods, they're not, they're, they're toxins and poisons. And yeah, they tasted amazing at times, but you have to remind yourself of that from time to time. And, you know, when you do have those, just like right now, it's like I had those cravings for pizza. So guess what? I'm going to make a pizza that I can eat that's in my lane, that's on the the, the carnivore highway or slash keto highway if I just, if I choose to cuz you know I may I may have just make them all with the the keto with the light, the light layer of uh, tomato sauce. But um I don't know yet. We'll see. It just depends how I feel. Um but no matter what, I'm staying within that lane, you know, and that's what makes me happy. Um, guys, there's a lot of things going on out there, a lot of information, 
And I still get comments from time to time, people that pop in just like, hey, why don't you try like a regular diet, you know, like a regular well-balanced diet. And in my mind, I want to say, well, why don't you just go yourself, you know, but I don't, I don't, I, I hold back and I say, you know, and I, and, and, and I have to realize that they're uninformed, you know, and they're going off of what they believe. So, you know, in their mind, they're probably thinking like, hey, I'm headed for disaster. And that's okay. I mean, I, I appreciate them trying to, to, to stop me from that. But at the same time, I would encourage them to do more research, actual research, not just um, surface level research. And um, the things that are told to you, you really got to dig deep sometimes to, tr to try to get to the facts. And that's what a lot of carnivore people do. We dig to the facts. Like we dig through a bunch of bullshit and get to the facts. I mean, think about it. So um, let's see. Is there anything else I wanted to tell you? Because it seemed like it seemed like there was some other things missing. I do have a quote for the day. And I apologize yesterday. Um, some of you did say that um, the quote was good. And that, you know, um, was it? Was it Derek? It might have been you. I don't. I can't remember. I'm sorry off the top of my head, but I know one of you said that, like, hey, do the quotes because you never know it might affect somebody that day. And and I thought about it. And it's like that's true. You know, that's inspirational within itself. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, we will try to continue on with some type of inspirational quote uh, because I think about these things and it does help me. It it even helps me too. So don't don't let it fool you. It's not just for you guys. <laughs> so um but yeah, I mean, guys, thank you for all the tips and all the suggestions for fasting and some of you were like don't take medicines, don't do this. And I listened to some of you, you know, and you know, everything's good so far. Probably just a teeny teeny bit of of a little bit of phlegm collection here and there. Um, but I mean, I feel a world difference between just Friday night. So even just a couple days of just fasting really started to help, uh, knock things out those three and a half days of fasting. Um, but yeah, so let's look at our inspirational quote and our inspirational quote actually comes from Abraham Lincoln. That's right. And it's, it's not four scores. <laughs> okay. We're not, we're not going to do the address. But um, but one thing he said, all right, ready? Folks are usually about as happy as they make up their minds to be. Okay? Folks are usually about as happy as they make up their minds to be. So again, as you guys can see, this, this quote is just all about your mentality and where you want. It's like, where do you want to be? You know, when you're ready and it's time to make up your mind, some of you, maybe this quote's going to hit you tonight. Maybe you're going to, maybe you've been watching some of my videos or other carnivore videos. I'm sure usually it's not just me. It's usually a ton of other people. Maybe you've been thinking about carnivore and you just can't pull the trigger. Well, you know what? Listen to Lincoln. I mean, you're about as happy as you make up your mind to be, right? And when I finally made up my mind to do carnivore, and I'm like, I am going to stick with it no matter what. I don't, you know, I was like determined. Like last time, it was, a, you know, that between me and my wife and miscommunication. Now, it's like, he, I told her, and I'm like, I am doing it. And guess what? My happiness has improved immensely over a lot of things. Now, I still have everyday stresses and everyday problems, but now I'm losing weight, I'm feeling better, and there's a lot of these little things that are starting to surface that make a difference. Things like just sometimes I'll fit into certain little spaces in people's homes because I work in people's homes a lot 
you know, fixing their internet. I've, sometimes I've got to go in between like furniture and chairs and different things. People's houses, some of them are pretty cluttered. And I'm starting to fit better in, in some homes and things like that and spaces. And those things matter. When I get in the vehicles and the steering wheel is not as right up close to me and, you know, my guts hitting the steering wheel and all that crap. Now I've got inches, you know, between I've got a, a pretty good gap in between me and the steering wheel. It, it's just things like that, you know, little things that remind you, hey, you are doing it. You're doing good. Now, of course, there's always going to be little reminders of the opposite. You're still going to have reminders that you're still fat. But try to just say, hey, work in progress and I'm and, and be determined. Determination. Like Lincoln said, make up your mind. Make up your mind and you make your happiness, basically. Okay. So I hope that inspires you guys. I'm inspired. I mean, it keeps me going. I I, <clears throat> I can't wait. I can't wait to see, and I really hope that one day, and all of you with me, I hope all of you make it there. I really do. I know some of you are going to drop out maybe, and I won't see hear from you again, but I really hope a lot of you stick, stick with me, and you're here, and you get to see the results, and I get to hear about your results, because you guys tell me too. You guys tell me, hey, I'm on this day, and I've lost this, and I've done that, and I look at that, and I try to give you hearts. I try to give you praise when I can. And if I miss it, I, I'm so sorry if I miss it. <laughs> I've been trying to give you guys some hearts and stuff lately. So that way, you know, it's like, hey, if I can't comment, if I don't have time, I'm going to give you a heart. That way, you know, it's me that's giving you that love. Um, but yeah, guys, I I really hope we all get to, to get to that point and we can look back and be like, man, can you believe back then? You know what I mean? And then now, I, I mean, I dream of normality. I do. I can't wait to see if I get to that point. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't realize it was going to hit me like that. But I would love to see myself in the mirror and actually be happy. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.